Okay, welcome to another Orbiter 2010 video. And in this video, we're not actually going to do any flying. In this video, I'm just going to offer a brief explanation for how to do a fairly basic task. Sometimes when you arrive at a, a target body, could be Mercury like I have in this case, or it could be Io or Ganymede or whatever, you know, one of the other moons, you'll find that there's no uh, base to land on when you get there. You know, here we are at Mercury. This is just a default. Mercury, you know, as it is out of the box. And if we target and go to spaceports, you'll see it's empty. There's nothing there. So when I click the uh, right arrow, it doesn't do anything because we don't have a base here on Mercury. Now, one thing you could do is uh, search the internet, go to maybe orbit, ha uh, orbit hangar, and possibly find a base for Mercury. Uh, but you would have to do that in every case, you know, if you wanted to have a base for Triton, if you wanted to have a base for Ganymede, a base for Europa, and so on, you'd have to search and find bases for all of those. What I find I like a lot better when I just need a quick, simple solution, and I'm not overly concerned about cosmetics and the way it looks, is I will just simply make a copy of Brighton Beach on the moon, and I'll put it on the body that I want to go to. Like when I did my Voyager Grand Tour and I ended that Grand Tour at uh, Triton by Neptune, there was no base there, so I made a copy of Brighton Beach and put it on Triton and I called it Triton Beach. And I just want to show how to do that because I never got around to making a video explanation and it's very simple. So we're going to exit out of Orbiter and I need you need to go to your orbiter directory, you know, wherever you have orbiter installed. Go to the config folder. And probably the best place to start is to go to the target body. So in my case, it's going to be Mercury. And if your target body doesn't exist, like when I made it on Triton, there was no Triton folder, so I had to first make a Triton folder. But in this case, Mercury is already here. So I'm just going to go to Mercury. And there's no base folder because there's no base on Mercury, so I'm going to first make a base folder, just simply new folder base. Very, very simple. Of course, there's nothing in here. So now I'm going to go back to that config directory, and I'm going to go to the moon, go to the base directory, and I'm going to copy Brighton CFG. I can select it and hit Control C, or I can select it and right click and just copy. Now I'm going to go back to config, go to Mercury, go to base, and I'm going to right click and paste Brighton CFG into this directory. Now there's no naming conflict with the file name, so I could just leave it named Brighton CFG, but that might be kind of confusing. So I'm just going to rename it to Mercury base. Then we need to open that file with some kind of text editor. And we do need to rename it. Uh, we can't have two bases named the same thing. I don't think we can. So we, in any, any event, we should rename it anyway. So let's just call it Mercury Base. Spell Mercury correctly. And that's it. Uh, we can save that. If we don't want Mercury Base to be located in the exact same place as Brighton Beach is, uh, you know, relative to the latitude and longitude, we can change that here. Uh, but I'll kind of come back to that in a second. So let's close that out. Let's close that out. Let's reload that scenario that we were just looking at. And let's see what we have now that we've put a base on Mercury. Okay, so the scenario is reloaded, and we can now see that we've got a box here on Map MFD. So if I go to Target, Spaceports, I now have a base that I can target. And if I bring up, you know, let's just say Base Sync MFD, I can type 
tar you know, target Mercury base now. And it can shows me how far off I am from that base. So this that's all there is to it, believe it or not. You know, all your MFDs will automatically uh, just know that that base is there. And if we want to take a look at the base, we can press Control F1, go to Spaceports, find it in the list, hit Apply. And, of course, just like normal, just mouse around, and you can see the base. And this is exactly, uh, this is an exact copy of Brighton Beach. It's just now placed here on Mercury, at least, well, this is a copy of it. Of course, the, the Brighton Beach is still on the moon, but this is just a copy of it, so it just gives us a target. So that's all there is to it. I'll go back to the Delta Glider. Now again, if we don't want our base to be here, uh, this is the coordinate of Brighton Beach, so since we copied Brighton Beach, then Mercury base is at the same place on Mercury as Brighton Beach would be on the moon. And if we would rather have our base be more equatorial for some reason, which would probably make a little bit of sense because at least I think it might make sense, I'm not sure. But at any rate, we can do that very easily. Let's go back out of orbiter and let's take a look at this uh, file again. And I want to start just by making a copy of this location line. And we're just going to comment out the first one. That way we have this information if we want to revert back to it. And we can basically just edit these numbers. Um, off the top of my head, I don't know like which one is latitude and which one's longitude. That's probably pretty terrible of me. I should have checked that out beforehand. But let's just change one of them to zero. And we also would need to do that for the VOR. So I'm going to copy this line as well and paste it here. And we'll comment out the first line. And you can see the logic there. If we want to revert back to the original, we just uncomment those lines. And we'll change this to zero as well. And these have to match because when you are navigating to the base, this is your VOR, you know, your radio beacon. And it has to have the exact same coordinate as the base. So let's save that, and let's take a look at the scenario one more time. And you can see the base is moved, so it appears that the first line is the longitude and the second line is the latitude. So if I had set the second line to zero instead of the first, then the base would be down here. But instead I set the first one to zero, and of course the zero longitude is this middle section here. So that if you want to have a different latitude and longitude, just simply edit that number in the file, and that's all there is to it. Very, very simple. Uh, if you like this video, go ahead and leave a comment down below. And I will see you next time.